Your number one team for news. This is U105. The headlines at one o'clock. Talks resume at the Stormont. Also, Whitehead residents pro protest against oil tanker plans and a major recovery operation is still underway in Budapest. Good afternoon, I'm Bronwyn McKinney. Talks between the parties and the British and Irish governments are underway at Stormont. It's the fourth time Tánis de Simon Coveney and Secretary of State Cam Bradley have held cross-party talks this month. Negotiations to restore power sharing resumed at the beginning of May after more than two and a half years without a government. The parties still remain starkly divided on issues such as legacy legislation, an Irish Language Act and same-sex marriage. There are serious concerns. Plans to develop an oil tanker terminal on the East Andrum coast will severely damage the environment. A planning application to allow 120,000 tonne tankers to dock at Clawher Point Terminal has been submitted by owners LCC. Residents in Whitehead argue it could be devastating for the local area. Gerard Ellis is a professor in the School of Natural and the Built Environment at Queen's University. He explains how the impact could be devastating. Clearly threats to marine uh, environments because all that discharging big tankers coming in should there be an oil spill and Belfast Lock is a number of protected sites. There's also a threat to the local tourism investment. Whitehead has the Gobbins Pass, the Rail Preservation Society, all those sorts of things. Industrialising the area is just going to be counter to that. LCC say the development will boost the local economy and provide jobs. A man has been left with...